Hello students and a very warm welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on advanced statistics. We will be solving some multiple choice questions. If you want to get hold of the entire solution set on advanced statistics then you can contact us on this number. And for any further details with regard to online classes, video lectures, study material etc. You can check in our website. Let us read the first question. The question is, in a sample of 900 shareholders of company, 400 started that their major aim in holding stock is capital application. What is the 90% confidence range within which lies the population of stockholders who hold stock for appreciation okay so we have we will first compute the value of p then q then standard error of p so let's do we'll for we will actually undertake the normal procedure the general format so p is equal to 400 by the sample size 900 this will give you 4 by 9 or in decimal you can write this as 0. Triple four double uh, to, uh, double four triple four. So I am writing point four 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 double four double four. So let us compute the value of Q. So it is one minus P. So it will give you five by nine. So the standard error of P using the formula P Q by N we will get four by nine into five by nine under root 1 in under root 100 so instead of writing all this we know the value of n the value of p and q everything so i'm just writing the answer itself so it will be 0 0.0 0 0.01 0 0.01 six six okay so now we need to calculate the 90 90 percent confidence interval actually so 90 percent confidence limit is equal to p and this is equal to plus minus 1.645 under root p q by n so this becomes 0 0.444 so here it would this equal to sign it just raise it it will be p plus minus so it will be the let us substitute the value 0 0.444 plus minus 1.645 into this value so it will be 0 0.0166 so the answer will be 0 0.417 comma 0 0.472 and this is a perfect match to option B. So B will be the correct answer to this particular question. Now the next question is says let T be an unbiased estimator of theta Vt greater than 0. Then we need to comment which of the following is true. So if T is unbiased estimator for theta then we have expectation of t is equal to theta also we can write so also vt that means if we can want to calculate the variance then it will be expectation t square less expectation t whole square so this will become expectation t square minus theta square this implies that expectation t square is equal to theta square plus vt and this is not equal to theta square definitely as variance of t is greater than 0 so we can say thus 
expectation of t square is not equal to theta square this implies that t square is a biased estimator for theta square okay so the answer will be option number d so if you like our videos if you find these videos helpful then please hit the like button subscribe to our channel share our videos and thank you so much for watching